Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, about a week and a half ago there, we uh, we took out the uh, Mini 4 Pro and we went to a water tower um, uh, that we fly quite often and uh, we wanted to try some photogrammetry. Now where that came from was uh, about three weeks ago, we uh, got ourselves our first 3D printer, the Bamboo A1 Mini. And uh, after, shortly after we started using the Bamboo Mini, we, uh, we found some software online called uh, Curie. Let me open it up here on the Curie Engine. And what we had done is we uh, downloaded the, the Curie Engine app onto our uh, iPhone. And with the iPhone, we were able to, like I, I took this bear here, and I uh, just walked around the bear taking uh, photos. I took quite a few photos, I'm not sure what it was. And I brought it into Curie and I uploaded all the photos and uh, I'm not sure if I have it on here. Okay, I don't have this one on here, but I've done a number of uh, objects where I've, uh, if you can see on the screen, this was another item here, a wooden Santa Claus that I just walked around with my iPhone and took pictures of it. And uh, I actually printed that. Yes, it actually uh, it actually done a very good job. Okay, let me straighten this out. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. But anyways, we, after we got all those photos, we brought it into uh, Curie Engine and we were able to produce uh, a 3D object of that uh, wooden Santa Claus. And then we exported it from Curie Engine into um, Bamboo Studio Lab. And this, this was a print. And I was I was quite pleased with this print. It uh, it really managed to get all the uh, details of that Santa Claus. Now um, another one is I had scanned this bear and I'd done the same idea. And this this is the uh, the first one that I printed. I scaled it down. You could scale these bigger. Uh, you could scale it to this size if you wanted to. But uh, I thought it was pretty amazing that uh, I was able to use my iPhone and the Curie engine and actually produce these uh, 3D objects. So that's where the idea came with the uh, drone. I fly this water tower all the time and I thought, I wonder, uh, could I just fly the drone around this water tower and take pictures because obviously with the iPhone I can't I can't take pictures from the top so uh, so we took the drone and I think we did a hundred and fifty eight uh, photos with the mini 4 and we brought it back home and we uploaded it to the Kiri engine and if you could see on screen this is kind of what we ended up with. So this is the 3D model. Um, it looks a little bit rough. We got great photos from the top part of that tower, but we didn't get the drone close enough to the legs and the other detail uh, in this tower. But anyways, this was just a test try it out, see if I could actually produce a 3D model of that tower that I, I love to fly all the time. Anyway, so once we had got this image right here, then we exported that to the Bamboo Studio. And then we started doing some test prints. First off, we wanted to just do a small one 
and uh, you know see see what happens, see how it come out. Now, as you can see, this one uh, this one doesn't look too bad, but inside that uh, post that's going up to the top, it it broke off. It was just way too thin, not enough detail. So uh, we tried a couple others, you know, same idea. You know, it started printing, then it would break off. Uh, at one point, I tried a larger one and, you know, it fell apart. Uh, so we went through a lot of testing. Um, you know, here's another one that I done. The bar is broke here. I think the bar is broke there. But you know, amazingly, we were able to, to print one. Well, we printed quite a few actually just experimenting. Now this one came out not too bad. But what we done with this one is we actually took this image into Blender and we beefed up the legs on this and beefed up the center pole on this and uh, I don't know I think that's pretty good we managed to actually get a print and all this was done with the uh, Mini 4 Pro and the other day we started getting fancy and we uh, changed filament colors and uh, we printed up to about this point change the color stop change the color again and then finished out the top there um, again they're not the best models but the idea that i could put the uh, mini 4 pro up and take a whole bunch of photos bring it into a program and actually produce a, a 3d object i thought was very cool and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, my first time ever doing this, even doing the 3D, so uh, uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And I definitely want to do that again and uh, experiment a little more with uh, taking photographs with the uh, drone and uh, trying to produce some uh, uh, 3D images of uh, places I like or places I've been. Anyways, I appreciate the watch. This was my update to uh, that photogrammetry, which is very cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.